Welcome friends, pen pal lovers, snail mail makers, lovely subscribers. Thought I'd put together another pen pal DIY Ds video for you. I got such great feedback from the last one, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, it's motivated me to keep on making these. Just a little bit about myself, I thought I'd just sort of start off. Um, so I've been pen paling um, for quite a few years. I started it for when I was a child and then I kind of picked it up probably about 10 years ago. So I've had a few pen pals from around the world and I've been making lots of different themed kits. So I'm going to do is where I kind of make these little themed kits together and I just thought it's a natural progression to kind of share the process in video form I guess. So there, that's just a little about, bit about me. I also I have published a zine a few years ago called Happy Mail Day. Um, you can also find that in my shop and I'll leave the details below in the description box. So this is going to be a very colourful themed pen pal kit that I'm making. Um, it's for a new pen pal in France. She has a lot of similar interests to me, like lots of bright colours, um, cute Japanese things, um, having fun with colourful bits of paper and stickers. So that's the kind of thing that I've planned this around. To start off with just a little bit about the process of how I put my mail together. Um, just at the start, so what I do, I normally have like a few different little clear bags and I have them aside throughout the month or just throughout the year. Um, and then I start, as I see things that I think a certain pen pal will like, I start collecting it into separate little bags. So then when it comes time for me to send a letter back to someone, I already have a kind of like a little kit already formed together. And then from there I kind of just play around with what I got and I'm inspired about what's normally in the kit and what I'm going to make. So I kind of just, go, that's how I do it. So um, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to start crafting. I hope you enjoy this video. Once again, thank you so much for all your support, all your lovely comments. It really does motivate me. There's a few lovely ones on my other bullet journal videos and just hearing that you've actually gone and you've taken some of the ideas and tips and made it yourself just instantly makes me go, okay, I want to make another video. Yeah, so yeah, it's just great. It feels like I've got people to craft along with, so it's wonderful. Um, okay, enough jibber-jabbing. I'm going to get on with the video. So I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks, guys. So I'll start off by pulling everything out that I've got here. I'm just going to um, organize what I've got. And then I'm going to see what I'm going to make, leave out for next time, or um, I'm going to make into something else. Wall, that is a lot. I can see it's blast of colour, like pops of fluoro pinks. Um, there's lots of little fruity things. Again, I've included some Australiana things as well as some Japanese things. It's kind of like a mix of Australia and Japan. So I'm going to um, go through my items and put them in a little package. I'm not sure if you saw how I did it in the last video, but I tend to like make separate little packages for each thing and then I combine it all together in one big letter. Um, so I'm going to probably do that again and I'm going to do some little DIYs. So yeah, let's get started. So one of the DIY elements of this pen pal letter to decorate a postcard. Um, so yeah, it's quite a random postcard, I guess you're probably thinking that I've selected. But in Australia, one of the things that we're probably known for here is our obsession with, I don't know, big things. So in each kind of state or towns um, scattered around Australia, um, there's lots of big things. Like you can visit the big pineapple, um, there's like the big peach, the big koala, um, there's a big rocking horse. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few of them. I do like quite odd postcards that kind of have a story or maybe it's an old postcard or something that was around and now time's kind of forgotten about. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, I think this is a bit fun and I'm going to decorate the cow here and make this um, postcard a little bit extra special with some splashes of colour. Decorate 
graded postcard, um, a few extra little stickers and things. I got some washi tape. I've also got little koala biscuits. I got these really cute um, different expressions and stuff and they're one of my favourites. I'm going to make a little mail tag. A mail tag is normally just something where you um, have like a little bit of card or a piece of paper and you ask questions to your pen pal. They send you the answers back in their letter. In the comments let me know what you like to put in your mail tag. Have another colourful extravaganza here. This time I've got this little clear baggie and I'm going to try and make it extra special by putting a nice pattern behind it similar to what I did with the clear bag. Last little package inside this pen pal letter, I've got a few little bits and bobs. So I've got a cupcake wrapper here, and I'm gonna do something special with that. I'll show you in a second, just a little trick, just a little packaging trick. I've got just a clear little baggie. I've got some big journaling cards, some little bento box grass, um, just a little post-it note, um, just a few die cut embellishments, keeping with that fruity thing. My pen pal likes, I've seen on their Instagram, they like lots of little fruity bits. And um, what would a package be without a fun little colourful pom pom? And I've got some Japanese sweets. They're so pretty, the packaging. I buy things mostly for the packaging. So, and Peko Chen is this little character here, and she's my favourite Japanese mascot and I collect everything that I can of her. And then I've got some more stickers and I've got a little feather, little origami strawberry. So I'm gonna package this up and then I'm gonna get a start on the main envelope and put all the packages in. One here, I just want to show you how to decorate an envelope in a flash just using, yeah, I've got one of these little chalk paint markers and I'm going to add some sprinkles and I'm going to add, again, I'm looking at my packages and it's going to be quite a tight fit. I've uh, really got to consider that before um, I start packaging things up. Oh, we'll just see how it go. It's all a bit of a fun of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this pen pal video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. Also, all your subscribes are so, 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 so appreciated. Um, and again, yes, yes, they really do motivate me to keep going. It kind of lets me know that you are enjoying these videos. Let me know if there's anything particular you'd like to see me make or do, or maybe look into a bit more in my process beforehand of how I collect everything and how I go through my stash. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. I'll just say, hey, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's really, I've already chatted to a few other lovely people that have left comments and replied back and yeah it's really nice to kind of get to know um, the community and who's watching and yeah I really appreciate it so um, yeah as usual if you want to see more of my stuff um, please check out my blog lifelightdocumented.com in my online store you can also find my little zine happy mail day so I have some previous blogs that I did one was called my life as a magazine and I did a lot of snail mail and pen paling on that. Um, I'll put that in the description box below. And you can also find me on Instagram at Jenna Templeton. Um, thanks, guys. Bye. See you soon.